Huh? You don't come in right. Ah, man, you got comb it, brush it. Well, I mean, that Jamaican castor oil. Sand, on one side. Yeah, that's how this brother, I mean, yeah, that's how that brother is. It's more on one side for me, too. Yeah, it's bad for him. And it's worse for him. So, <laughs> so we, hey, we just got to work what we got, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> coming uneven or coming uneven. I better be thankful y'all got one. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> no, he ain't start yet. Man. Yeah, I haven't started yet. I just got a mini mustache. Yeah, I just got a mustache. He ain't start yet. Yeah. <laughs> You, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the day. So you can't cut yourself, right? Nor for what? The dead. Huh? For the dead? Is that what it's like? Yeah, for the dead. Like tribal marks, you put cuttings in your flesh. Right, rest in peace all the Nor print any marks upon you. I am the Lord. So you can't print any marks upon you. Talking about tattoos. It's too late. Right. But what you got to do? Man. You got to, uh, what's repentance? Ask for forgiveness. Forgiveness of what? Yeah. Right, and then what? Stay away from it. Exactly. Mm. There you go, brother. There you go. So you ask the most house to forgive you of your sin. You know what I'm saying? You're buried. You're smoking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's the same, yeah. brother. You did follow your tip. Man, he looked at that God made this, man. God made, it, God made everything. Yeah, he made this. And God made pork. <laughs> hey, man. Uh, hey. Yeah, yeah. Go to, go to First Corinthians 3. <laughs> All right. I got it. I got it. All right. Bring it up. Look at that girl. Oh, not my baby. I got them. Hey, man, it's a nice day, y'all, out here with the cigars. Look at First Corinthians. You want to keep the body clean? Look at First Corinthians, chapter three, verse sixteen. Go on. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God? Know ye not that we're the temple of God? Go on. And that the spirit of God dwelleth in you. Read. If any man defile the temple of God. If any man defiles his temple, you defile your temple by eating unclean food, smoking, committing sin. If any man defile the temple of God, go on. Him shall God destroy. Him shall God what? Destroy. Him shall God do what? To? Destroy. Right. What? For the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. Because y'all are a holy temple, man. You don't want to defile your temple. Chosen people. Yeah, man. Y'all are special, man. Y'all are Israelites, man. We the best athletes, dancers, musicians, cooks. Everything we do, we dominate. Because we're the Israelites, man. All throughout the Bible, God talks about us as his chosen people. We were lost. We were calling ourselves blacks, not speaking our native language, not knowing our heritage, celebrating Christmas, worshiping the gods of, the, of this land. But now we're returning back to our identity because these are the last days. And God said that his people will wake up and remember themselves. He said, but in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. So now we're questioning, well, hold on, I'm not black. Hold on, that's, that's a cover. There's no nationality called black. African American, that's, that's just something that somebody gave me. We just walk and bend, we just go with the flow. We gotta unplug from the matrix and return back to who we are, man. All right, y'all are God's people. You gotta speak up. We trying to and not offend the little up. ones. Huh? Yeah. And not offend the little ones. Right? I'm not offend them. So, y'all see all the killings that happen to the people that look like us, right? Mm -hmm. Y'all see that, right? Mm -hmm. It's not like nationally on the news like nationally, everybody else. Yeah. I mean, nationally. Things that happen here, too. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So, being that they're killing people that look like us, how can you. How can y'all stand to keep those bad on You know they kill people like us. Because the news tells you it's only you. We see it happens to everybody. Okay. But as a whole, who is it happening to the most? No, that's that's that, that's where you got to do your research. All right, I, the numbers. That's why the, 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 one, the, the the incidents that are you know sensationalized and put all on news is just the black people because right now that's the hot topic. But it happens to other races, same proportion. No. Some, even more. That's false. Okay, what, what, what do you, you don't see? What, you don't, do you, where do you get your, your statistics? Sir, I'm not into all of this. We get it out the Bible. I know. We get it out the Bible. But I can tell you, I know. I, I know you, you're saying the Bible. But the FBI has the statistics available to anybody on the internet. They tell you how many white people were killed, how many Asians, how many Hispanics, how many blacks. Now, the only difference is what, what the sensationalized part is black people are probably unarmed. I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you out. Fine. Let's say the statistics are the people that are high. Right? Somebody that looked like you, that they're killing, and you're seeing this, okay. how can you still have that bad thing? Because if the occupation isn't going to go anywhere, what would you what? get equal representation in that field, right? So if you're saying, well, white police officers are killing 
Uh, black, black. I'm not saying that. And I'm, the argument is that, right? That's what's happening. So, wouldn't you want black men to be police officers? Okay, but why are you trying to do anything? What are y'all doing? What are you doing? You know? I'm, okay, I'm going to ask. What are you doing? I do a lot. I, I, I do community uh -huh. service. I volunteer. I'm part of a foundation. I mentor kids. And I got my own kids. Yeah, you got devout men. Cornelius right? devout yeah. men. This is what we provide perspective. Because I know at the end of the day, right, when I throw on my hoodie and I'm not wearing this, I look like I look just like you, right? So the same treatment you might get, I might get, right? But we're in the field, so we know. And a lot of people like to just automatically go to the racism aspect. Their biases, oh my God. yeah, but, but, but their biases in everybody, right? Like if, 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 if somebody say right now, you know, let's run a game of football, and it's us out here and a couple of Asians, Divine woman. and a skinny white guy, Damn. your team would probably you probably want the big strong black guy, right? That's the bias. Is that racist? So what you're seeing is it all these racist people yeah. out here doing this? Man. It's people with bias. People who were corn fed and bred, raised in you know white, or, you know suburban home. areas, huh? and they don't have much experience with black people. Uh, that's that's right. Right. I agree with oh, the most. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. I agree with the most. Hey guys, I don't even want y'all to stop being police. I want you. I want you to stay in the The only issue I have, what you said, is in regards to the numbers. I can't get with that. The reason I can't get with that because there's a famous quote. I can't remember the sister's name, but I believe her last name as well. She said, those who kill us write the report. How are we going to trust their numbers? I can't trust their numbers. You putting up some number. That, that's really insulting yeah, our but, intelligence. Yeah, but, but, but you're saying... Oh, hold on real quick. Uh -huh. That's really insulting our intelligence. I'm seeing, I'm seeing who's being killed every single day, whether I'm seeing it in person or I'm seeing it on TV. Uh -huh. Now, white people can't wait to have a one up on us. So if they had this footage of most of them being killed more than us, they wouldn't <laughs> sit on that. They so, would immediately so put that are you, out. So are you saying, like, FBI statistics are manufactured for those others? Absolutely. They, they would just make up white guys and say this white guy was killed. Did yes. they not plan 9-11? Did they not do all these other things? Of course. I, I don't know about that. That would be enough. Oh, well, I, don't I, don't know say, yeah. I don't expect you to say, but, but my thing is, you understand where I'm coming from. Yeah, but, but the thing is, for them you know, for each man, victim, there's a family, okay. right? So you can track a family down. And, and you don't have to go far for you know to find somebody that dislikes police or that was you know right, something right. unjustly was done right. to them or somebody in their family. So what I what I've always said about that argument, it, it's one of the things that is inclusive that you don't want, right? A larger community who feels wrong by the police is going to make a louder voice than the, oh it's just black people. If it's just black people, nobody cares, right? Is that the stigma? But if everybody is involved in that, so well, you know what? Yeah, I had that happen to me too. Asian guy, oh, I had that happen to me too. Like people, yeah, that actually happened to my cousin. He didn't have anything. In <laughs> That's where you start to change, right? When the collective, I hear what you're saying. But what we read, what we just read to you, what we just read, we, 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 this brother right here, he just explained to you. He's letting you know you're special people. I, I, and I don't he's disagree you, all the way with you. Right? Letting you know everything. He's telling you everything. You got commandments, certain commandments. You got to follow. Like we yeah, I gotta get rid of these. Huh? You should, you should put that out immediately. After you read that. That's, that, but that's all. I, I, put, I that's spend your money on that. Yeah. Your own so after everything he just read to you, and when I just asked the question, I just asked you, nothing clicked in your mind. No. So nothing, nothing is gonna register. What I, what he just read to you. No, what he saying? You special what, people. What, what he said? Hold on, hold on, brother. Hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me bring out a scripture real quick. Go to um, real quick. Go to Acts um, ten and one. This book of Acts chapter 10 and verse 1. Yeah. Come on, bring this up. There was a certain man in Caesarea called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band. Right. A devout man and one that feared God with all this house. Right. Which gave much alms to the people and prayed to God always. So we know our people in the position where they have to, where the police officers, and you say to do community service and all of that. The brother just emphasizing the fact that if I was taken captive by an opposing military force, why would I join that opposing military force that took us captive? That's all he's asking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It wouldn't make sense now, to join the military that put us in captivity. But if, let's say, your history was so-called, if it was your race, 
right. our and history and, and, and yeah right. and, and hundreds of years later you're now ingrained in this society yeah do you say okay I'm gonna be a, a, a good representation of my people mm -hmm. in those parts of society yeah you, you can say, you no, can still I'm do that not gonna... no I'm not you can still do that I'm not saying you're doing it. I'm just saying you know, you know, it would seem as a. Um, the main thing is everybody looks at things yeah. as, a, as the organization. It's not the organization that shoots you because it's individual. Yeah. So that's like you said, why would I join the military? You gotta stop right there. It's not about the military, it's about that person. What's, well, I don't know. No, 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 I'm with that. This is my whole point. Are y'all simply policemen for your people? Yeah. That, and that's that's what's right, the right. issue because everybody else has salvation. Everybody else is good. We're the only ones hurt. That's why I draw the issue. Because you can't be for everybody. They're not for everybody. You need to be for us. That's that's my only issue. But, but, but what does the, what, 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 what what the word say about that though? Does what? it say we need to be specific for our people? What's the word yeah. 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 says that. Does it say for everybody? Let me show you real quick. Deuteronomy 29. Yeah, bring out the scripture. Yeah, let me get this right now. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Uh, he, 29, 29. This is the book of Deuteronomy, <laughs> chapter 29 and verse 29. Go on. And it reads, the secret things belong unto the Lord our God. So this Bible, the secret things belong to the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed. The things in this Bible are revealed unto us. Belong unto us. Belong unto everybody. Unto us right. and to our children. Forever. So this whole book is for us and for our children forever. So it's not for everybody. So individual. Right. Most of what you've read is from the, like the first five books, right? Mm, this is going all throughout the Bible. Old Testament, New, New Testament. New Testament? Yeah, New Testament. In the New Testament, you know what happens in the New Testament, right? What? Jesus comes to save everybody, right? He what? Comes to save all. All who? All. All people. No, he came to save all of Israelites. You think so? Well, we just read that this thing belongs to us. Oh, like, hold on, real quick, real quick. Listen, we literally just read in this Bible that God's secrets in this Bible belongs to us until our children forever. So now, how can the New Testament belong to somebody else if it just said it belongs to our children forever? So when I read it, I get a different interpretation, right? And one of the things it says when uh, Jesus is asked, what's the greatest commandment? You know what the answer was? Yeah. To love thy neighbor. Right. And, and love yourself. And do what? And do what? And that's the presence to love God. Love God. Right? Hold on, hold on, real quick. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Go, go to Matthew 1 and 21. Look, we're in the New Testament, all right? I got to give it. All right. Matthew 1. Uh, verse 21 right and she shall bring forth a son Mary had a son and thou shalt call his name Jesus For he shall save his people. He's gonna save all people his, his people. people his people from, from their, their sins. sins Who is Jesus people who are his people his, the Israelites those are his brother his father his mother Those are the people that were held accountable for sin So they needed a savior to adopt them back to the father So why why would he have to come to the Romans if the Romans are in power during that time? Who do they need to be saved from? That's their kingdom. See, that's Christianity that taught us that God came for all people. So is it your belief that God, we know God has a chosen people. We know, right. we know that. Right. I believe that just in the scripture. Right. But do you believe that that's the only people on earth that God cares about? All right, let's go to it. 2nd Ezra 6 and 54. I got it. All right. 2nd Ezra chapter 6, verse 54. Right. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. So everybody on the earth comes out of Adam. Everybody. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. And the chosen people come out of Adam too. Right? All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sake. Read that part again. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou hast madest the world for our sake. So you see the world was only made for our sakes, meaning the Israelites' sakes. This whole planet was made for us. Exactly. As for the other people. So who are the other people? Gentiles. Right, the other nations, right? Which also come of Adam. They come from Adam too. Thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle, like spit. and has likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. So God said they're nothing, they're like spit. The other nations. That's what the Mosai said. And that's all throughout the Bible. 
Does it say what? Is okay. like, yeah. I, I, Go to Exodus, Exodus, 15, Exodus 15, 15, 15, verse 3. Go to Revelation 19. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. So God is a man of war. God is about war. When Jesus comes back, he's coming to make war. So it's a sin to eat pork, but it's not a sin to kill. No, there's a, if you're killing for the most high's purpose. Because God is a man of war. If you murder, if you murder somebody, that's a sin. If you killing somebody through the will of the Most High, it's not a sin. Yeah. If, if I pulled a gun on you and you shot me, that would be okay. That'd be justified. In this but if you just shot me as I was walking down the street, that would be considered a murder. That wasn't justified. Right. It's the same difference. It's the same difference. Right. You, you guys are well read, and you know your Bible. I'll tell you that. Y'all should know this Bible. This is for y'all. Y'all know this. Well, as you can tell, I do a little bit of reading, right? Right, right, right. right, right. right. I'm not as well versed as you guys, but I do a little bit. So when I do it, I pray to God to give me clarity and understanding. Right, real quick, right? let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. Real quick, you said you pray to God, right? Now, go to Proverbs 2 and 9. Brother, do you pray too? All right, listen to this. Proverbs 2 and 9. I want to make a quick point. I ain't mean to cut you off, but I want to, I want to make a quick point. No, friend. Yeah, Proverbs chapter 2 and 9. This is the book of Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 9. Go on. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. Even if you don't want to listen to the Bible and keep the commandments and accept it as it is written. Even his prayer even shall his prayer, be abomination. Even prayer becomes an abomination. So you want to make sure that you accept the fact that you're an Israelite and you repent and keep the commandments or your prayer, that your prayer is going to become an abomination. I mean, God not going to be hearing your prayers. God, there's, he just don't hear everybody. We deceive ourselves into thinking that God hears everybody. He, you know what I'm saying? Like you got children calling you. If you're a father, you ain't really, you're not going to do nothing about it unless they do what you told them to do. You know what I'm saying? Why would I do something to my, uh, help my son or help, you know, whatever. If they didn't take out the trash, do the dishes, you know what I'm saying? I would after listen to them after I after um they hearken unto me or listen. That's neither here nor there. Man. I ain't, I ain't, that's neither here nor there. How long have you been in this this, this practice? Oh, forever, man. I've been here from the beginning. Man. Yeah, from the beginning, man. Your parents uh same? Yeah, yeah. My father's the same, and my mother. Yeah, father, my mother. You know your stuff, man. That's the spirit. I, 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 That's the spirit of the Everything I throw out, you actually have a response to, right? What, it's, it's something it's, that you point to in the scripture. Yeah, it's in the Which scripture. is good. Yeah. Now, like I said, I pray to God when I'm reading my Bible. Okay. And I say, you know what? Whatever you want me to get out of this, I understand. Mm -hmm. So reveal it to me. Give me give me clarity and understanding. Right. So That's good to do, though. So when I read it, and, I, and I, I, I'm just me. You know, I don't go to church. I don't. I just read for my own. So when I read Whatever comes to me, comes to me, and it's not exactly what you got to say. Not in total disagreement, because I have wondered who are the original I chosen people, and who, who is God's chosen people. Right. That's a legit, that's a, that's a logical argument y'all just told me. Brother, give me Proverbs 16 and 9 real quick. I'm going I'm to I'm show you something real quick. Go to Proverbs 16 and 9, and you go to Isaiah 30 and 20. Now, there's nothing wrong with reading on your own, right? Now, if I want to study calculus, can I read it on my own and yeah, understand you got, it? You need, you need somebody to understand it. Exactly. You got brothers and you got men that help you. Read that. This is book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 12. 20. 20. Salah. Yeah. Yeah. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 20. Yeah. And actually, go to that and say, that's a better precept. Go to Acts 8 and 27. This is the book of Acts, chapter 8 and verse 27, right? And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, an Israelite from Ethiopia, an eunuch of great authority, right, under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. Right, came to Jerusalem to worship, right? Was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. This man was reading the book of Isaiah. Go on. Then the spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to this chariot. Go see what that man is doing. And Philip ran thither to him, and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understandest thou what thou readest? He asked, do you understand what you're reading? Isaiah is a tough book. And he said, do you, can you understand that? And he said, how can I? He said, how can I except what? Except some man should guide so me. So you need men to help guide you, man. Because you can read and lean on your own understanding and go off. Right? That's what the Lord said of men to help you and guide you. Rather, men younger than you or men older than you, the Lord said of men to help guide you. The Lord said he would send pastors according to his heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. He could, but the Lord just said, how can I accept some man's God? Now the Lord can come and sup with you and feed you and give you wisdom, knowledge, understanding, but he has men set up. All men were taught. 
even the twelve apostles were taught. Yahweh Shah, who they call Jesus Christ, he was taught. What do you call him? His name is Yahweh Shah. Now you know there's no J in the Hebrew. I'm, right. I'm Father's I'm name is Yahweh, right, right. So Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, every man has to be taught. Right? We have to be taught. Or we're taught. So you, you think we're the original people that spoke Hebrew and Yeah, we are those people. Okay. Right, brother. So you gotta um we got a YouTube channel too, brother. Check out the YouTube channel. What is it? You got your phone on you? All right, put in your uh, put in your phone. So you watch the video. We got the Cold Cut channel. You check it out. The, the name of the channel is uh, Cold Cuts. Cold so, Cuts. Yeah. Cold Cuts. Like a sandwich. Like a sandwich. Because we're feeding you right w now. You are getting spiritual <laughs> food right now. Spiritual water. All right. And, and let me read that Proverbs sixteen and nine. Book of Proverbs chapter sixteen verse nine. Go on. A man, man's heart divides it. His way. Wait, a man's heart meaning your mind divides what you want to do. Go on. But the Lord's direction, the, the, the Lord directed his steps. So the Lord directed your steps up here, man. Because you be reading, and in some way, the Most High got you up here for a reason, man. The Lord got you up here to hear the truth. Man's you going. too, brothers. Man's going to other lords so y'all can hear who y'all are. You know what I'm saying? Y'all are Israelites. We, we understand as brothers that got I occupations go everywhere. See what's in my, my news, right? yeah, all about... Amen. Hey, right, brother. That's just that's how the spirit worked, though, man. You start that route, and the Lord got you. Cold cuts. No, put in um type in Adam Abbott, and then give him the WFI Cold Cuts channel. Adam. 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 Yeah. Ott. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and then and then get the other one channel, the other channel too. Yeah. WFI Cold Cuts. <laughs> No, no, that's two different ones. Two different YouTube channels. And then we're going to give you the script. What is it? WFI. Cold code. And then if you want to clarify a point, we don't, because if you say, I make it an interpretation. <laughs> this brother may read it and say, well, I feel like it means this. Each brother can say, I feel like I get one understanding from the scripture. Well, let's see what the Bible says about that. Knowing this first. You got what? 2 Peter 1 and 20. Right. Book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, verse 20. Knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So there's no private interpretation. There's one understanding of the scripture. I believe that. Right? Lord. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. Meaning a mortal man didn't sit down and write down the Bible. But who? But holy man of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. So the Holy Spirit came upon men and wrote the scriptures to give one truth. All right. So y'all are Israelites according to the Bible. Y'all got to repent. America is going to be destroyed according to the Bible. Did y'all know that? I've, I've read some things that suggest Yeah, that's all throughout the Bible. Get, let me show you something. Go to Numbers 35 and 33. Numbers 35 and 33. Listen to this. Look at Numbers. Chapter 35, verse 33. Right? This is a law that the Lord gave us. Right. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. He said, don't pollute the land wherein you are. For blood, it defileth the land. So innocent blood being shed can defile, it will defile the land you live on. And the land cannot be cleansed. Hold on, let me see that poster. Right. Read it from the top. So ye, book, book of Numbers, chapter 35, verse 33. Right. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are. For blood, it defileth the land. So this defileth this land that you live on. This is innocent blood being shed. Blood defileth the land, the land of America, the soil. Go on. And the land cannot be cleansed. So this land of America cannot be cleansed except by what? Of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. So how can this land be cleansed according to the Bible? Well, read that that's last what, That's part. what I got from that Jesus blood. All right, hold on, read it again. Read the last part again. Yeah, read, read it nice and slow, brother. And the land cannot be cleansed. So this land who's that's soaked in blood, this land cannot be cleansed but by what? Of the blood that is shed therein. But by, by those what? that are killed. But mm -mm. by the blood. But by the blood of him that shed so it. who shed our blood? <laughs> All right, I get a different interpretation. Hold on, hold on, brother. Wait, wait, brother. Who shed our blood? The, 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 what they call them, the uh, colonizers. The Edomites, the so-called white men. So yeah, the colonizers. The, right. Their blood has to be shed in order for this land to be cleansed. Right. This is That's why love. this land has to be destroyed. This is a law in the That's Bible. 
So that's why the judgment of America is going to be so heavy because there's so much innocent blood from our people, the Israelites, that are deeply in, embedded in their soil. You believe and, Israel is a holy land? Yeah, the most I believe that's a holy land. You believe, and you believe that's where we are? That's where we're from. We're a people before we're a place. You, we're Israel right now. Right. We're all the children of Israel right now. We have the kingdom in us, but we got to repent and return to the most high and build it up. Bring it up. This, this right here is the same the mother. Right. Book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26. Right. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So Africa's not the mother of us all. Jerusalem, that's where our homeland is. But now you got these people living in the homeland right now. That's right. Those are not the God's chosen people. So they're going to be taken out of that land. The Lord is going to put us back in that land. Once we repent and return back to the Most High. So you got millions of Israelites waking up around the world. Y'all got to be next. The Lord got y'all up here for a reason. Do y'all feel like we're still in captivity? Do you feel like we need our home, our own homeland? Are y'all content here in America? That's a better question. Are y'all content as a nation of people living in America? Yeah, I'm content. That's a that's as, a, right. as a nation. Yeah, I'm satisfied. Salakia, so, as a nation, are we content? That's what we ask. As a nation of oh, people. As a nation of people. Right. right. So you gotta think, uh, nation. Yeah, I, 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 I get what you're saying. Right. Yeah. Me personally, I'm content. But you were content with your homeboys just riding by you, not saying, "Hey, how you doing?" That's crazy. Every I mean, time no, we yeah. have a white cop up here, they have no problem saying, "Hey, how you doing?" They always greet each other when they walk by. I've seen multiple <laughs> yeah, white cops come yeah, by. They ain't saying nothing to that's either one of y'all. <laughs> they didn't even check the seat. Nah, that's not people. That's <laughs> their people. Yeah, that's people. They said, "Look, those people with they people, we are people. Let them do that." Right. Y'all know that they, they doing their thing, <laughs> right? You know what I'm saying? They off the clock. They with they people. We with our people. Brother, it's not. I mean, I understand you got a job. Yeah. You cut the camera. Well, it's not. It's not hard, man. Just say it. It is what it is, man. Just say it. Oh, you talking about the... Just say it. It's people. I just no, said it. it's, it's people. people. What people? So what, what, what people, people just did it? Because you got something that was... It's the devil, bro. Listen. Listen. Come on, bro. I've been sitting here watching. I need an example. How many white cops have? Yeah. Number of them. This right while we've been talking right now. Yeah. None of them stop by. All, the way. all right, let me show y'all something. I'm going to show y'all what we're going through. Go to the book of Leviticus 26 and 36. That's what we're going through right now. We're going through the curses, right? Book of Leviticus. Where is the one with 10 should chase a thousand? Okay. Give me that Deuteronomy. Uh, I believe it's 33 or 32. Book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 36. Start at 35. Book of Leviticus, chapter 26, verse 35. As long as it lieth desolate, it shall rest. Right. Because it did not rest in your Sabbaths when ye dwell, dwelt upon it. Right. And upon them that are left alive of you. He said, upon the Israelites that are left alive of you, I will what? I will send a faintness into their hearts. A faintness into our heart, meaning we don't have the mind that we had back in the ancient world. The mind that we had is we walked around and the other people feared us. Wherever you walk, they bowed down and they respected you. They didn't walk past you and not acknowledge you. Right now, you have people walking past and not acknowledge you. We're calling you niggas, black men. It don't matter if you're a cop or not. Like I said, you throw the hoodie on, you go to H&M, you're going to get followed like I'm going to get followed. You know what I'm saying? Back then, the Lord and the Lord said, this is a spirit. He said he put a spirit in our men as a faintness of heart. And I'm seeing that spirit amongst our brothers right now to the point where you can't even, as a man, admit literally what just mm. happened. Like this literally is happening before us and we're reading it out the Bible as a faintness of heart. The Lord did that to us. That's the spirit on us. We got to come out of that. Go on. In the land of their enemies. We're doing. We're going through that in the land of our enemies right here. This is Bible prophecy. Y'all fulfill it. Go on. And the sound of a shaken leaf. The sound of a shaken leaf show what? Shall chase them. Meaning we scared of everything, man. Anything. We fear the other nations, the people, whether we know it or not. Through conditioning, right? Through subliminal messages, through growing up in this captivity, we've been oppressed so bad that we don't even acknowledge how powerful we are, man. You got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Israelite brothers right here, man. We powerful men, we mighty men. You know what I'm saying? We're the people in the Bible. They go to church and they're going to learn about you. Right. <laughs> Right? They got streets and cities off Paul, St. Paul Street, this street, these tr all of this stuff is named after us. We have to be bold in who we are, man. We're men, we're the Israelites, we're kings on the earth. We care, we don't walk around. Oh, oh, hey, brother, can I, you know, we don't walk around like that, brother. We gods and kings on the earth, right? You gotta walk like that. You gotta 
I'll get that. All right, bring it up. This is the uh, book of Joshua, chapter 2, and verse 9. Go on. And she said unto the men, I know that the Lord have given you the land, and that your terror is falling upon us. And your what? And your terror is falling upon right, us. Because they knew our God. The other... Now, right now, people think that the God that they believe in, he's the God of everybody. And we have to show you, even in the New Testament, what y'all learned was Christianity. That was something invented by Constantine in the 325 AD. The Bible has nothing to do with all people being saved. You can't go to the Chinese scrolls and say, these Chinese scrolls are talking about everybody. You can't go to East India and take their records and say, here, this is talking about y'all too. So what makes them they can take a book from the Middle East about one nation of people and now apply it to everybody and paint everybody white? This book pertains to one people from the beginning to the end. And back then they feared our God. They knew the God of Israel destroyed Egypt. They knew the God of Israel would put them in bondage and captivity. And they knew that, man. Go on. And that all the inhabitants of the land All the inhabitants of the land do what? Faints because of you. They were passing out when we were rolling through, man. That's a good precept. They was passing out when we was going. When they seen the so-called black man with his beard on his face, his staff in his hand, his fringes on his garment, they literally fainted, man. Now they look at you, you just a nigga, man. You just a man. Pants below his ankles, you know what I'm saying? Selling drugs to his brother, don't know his nationality. You got it. Job, chapter 18, verse hold 14. Hold it real quick, it's more than that. Okay. Okay. Verse 11, and as soon as we had heard these things, our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he is God in heaven above and in earth beneath. Wait, wait, read that part, the Lord, what? The, because to what she said. Because of you, for the Lord your God. The Lord your God. They knew that that God, that power, he's not the God of them. They said, that's your God. That's the God of Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? That's your power. Now you got everybody wanting to worship our God. God is a black man. He looks just like us. That's in the Bible. That's our Father who art in heaven. Hallowed be thy. It's not every. If I say our Father, that's not everybody's. But people just run over those words, ignore them. You got our, I mean ours, mine. You understand? That's His people. You know what I'm saying? So we're, we're a chosen people. We want y'all to acknowledge that, brother, as mighty men. Job chapter 18, verse 14. Right. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle, and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Right. The king of terrors is the most high, man. Right. The king of terrors. Right. And his confidence, Job 18, is talking about Esau. Y'all know who Esau is according to the Bible? Nah, I've heard of him, but I don't know. Alright, let's read it. Let's bring out who Esau is. Now Esau's a, a um, somebody get in the, um, the Bible dictionary about Edom. Alright, it's cool. I don't know if I got I might have it in my bag. Genesis 25, 21. The book of Genesis, chapter 25 and verse 21. Listen to this. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife, because she was barren, and the Lord was entreated of him. And Rebecca, his wife, conceived. Right, y'all heard it. Um, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. This is Isaac and his wife. She couldn't get pregnant. Oh, no, that's um, Sarah and Abraham. Oh, okay. This is a different situation. Yeah, yeah this, this is his son, Isaac, and his wife. And the children struggled together within her. So she couldn't get pregnant, but the Lord blessed her to open up her womb. And now she has children struggling together within her. Meaning she has twins in her womb and they're struggling meaning they're fighting she's having labor pains go on and she said if it be so why am i thus she said if this is a blessing from god why am i going through all these pains why are these children fighting in my womb go on and she went to inquire of the lord she went to see the most high about it and the lord said unto her two nations are in thy womb no, two people two nations are in thy womb can you have two nations in your womb what does it mean when this mother has two nations in her womb Different. All right, she has two men, but they're going to be the progenitor of two different nations. Now, the fathers of two different nations. The two nations are Edom, which is the so-called white man, Esau and the Edomites, and Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, meaning the Israelites. This is the birth of them and us in the Bible. Two nations are in her womb. We're the nation of Israel. They're the nation of Edom. Why are they struggling in the womb? Why are they fighting in the womb? Because they're not supposed to be together. They're always going to be going through conflict. We're always going through conflict against them. 60s, 70s, 50s, slavery. It's always a conflict between us and Edom because the Lord said we were struggling from the womb, from the beginning. They're going to walk past you and not say nothing to you because that's from the very beginning. This is all the way documented in the Bible. Go on. And two manner of people. And two, no, the same people. Two manner of people. We know we're two different types of people. You go out to eat, they want my food rare. They want their food rare. They want to go up rock climbing, jumping out of planes, uh, uh, um, marrying beasts. 
we like to chill, relax, you know what I'm saying? You smoking your cigarette, even though that's a sin, Jake like to chill out, man, and relax. All right, go on. Shall be separated from thy vows. So we're never meant to be together. So whenever they're together, what are they going to be doing? Struggling right. and fighting. All right, go on. And the one people shall be stronger than the other No, people. we're going to be the same strength. The one people shall be stronger than the other Who's people. Who's the stronger people? We are, all right. That's a, wait, 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 I got to hear you say it though. <laughs> we already know the who is. All right, all right, the Israelites. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Well, can you admit that, brother? Yeah, I can admit that. All right, all right, all right. We're making progress. We're making progress. And the elder shall serve the younger. Now read that part again, the what? And the elder shall serve so, the younger. Right, out of the twins, whoever comes out first, at the end times, they're going to serve the younger child. So in slavery time, well, let's read on. It's going to get, get to it. And were her days to be delivered after the nine months were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb. Twins in her womb. And the first came out red all over like a hairy garment. So who, who's the red people? Who come, who's red? Edomites. Edomites. They call them rednecks down south. They're not actually white. We know that. They're red. And, and the Bible calls them red or pink, right? The first came out red all over like a hairy garment, red and hairy, go on. And they called his name Esau. Now they called this man named Esau because Esau in the Hebrew is um, Aishashua, which means wasted away is he. Meaning his melanin that everybody on the earth is supposed to have, the Lord wasted it away, it was taken away from him. That's why he looks like that. That's why he burns up in the sun and has no melanin. His name is Esau, he's the father of all the Edomites, go on. And after that came his brother out. And after that came his brother out, meaning Jacob, our forefather, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel. So you see they described one man, one baby's color, but they didn't describe the other baby's color. Why didn't they describe Jacob's color? Because he looked like everybody else. He came out normal, right? So he said, oh, he cool. I don't know about this other one right here. He came out, wasted away, man. He came out looking like a dead man. Go on. The walking dead. Right. And his name was called Jacob. And his name was called Jacob. Read on. And Isaac was three score years old when she buried him. So you him. have Esau, the progenitor of the Edomites, the so-called white man, and Jacob, whose name was changed to Israel, the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel. So they walk around. They actually know that they're Edomites too, man. But they call themselves white because white means what? Pure, holy, pious. All right, what else? Without spot. You understand? Unblemished, undefiled. But we call ourselves black. Well, they gave us that term black. Black is, means what? Dingy, dirty. You got black magic. Black ball, you know what I'm saying? Black male, all derogatory. all derogatory and evil terms. And they did that for a reason. So this is all set up, but it's documented in the Bible. Everything's in the scriptures. The Edomites and the Moabites, I mean, um, Israelites. Now it said that elders shall serve the younger. So who came out first, us or them? So what's gonna happen? Who are they gonna be serving at the end times? Right, so we have to serve them. So what's gonna happen? They gonna have to serve us. Go to Revelation 13 and nine. This is in the Bible. This is Bible. 